Hi guys, um, huge news, uh, Roisin has arrived, she is a week old today and she was born on the 1st of October um, at 23.53 and um, I don't really want to go into the birth story at the moment because it was quite um, a traumatic event for me um, and um, uh, just the summary really is the waters broke on Wednesday which would have been exactly 37 weeks and uh, we had um, prostaglandin oh yeah we went to the hospital to check that the baby was fine told to go home to labour at home um, if nothing had happened within 12 hours to go back to the hospital which we did then I was induced using the prostaglandin gel and after six hours and painful contractions they uh, decided uh, there was no progress so six hours again of prostaglandin gel second lot of prostaglandin and then um, more contractions and more sleepless nights and then um, we were then brought to the delivery sweet to have an epidural and an oxytocin drip and I was on that for eight hours and um, progressed to two centimeters at two hours after being on the oxytocin progressed to four centimeters after four hours and then after eight hours still four centimeters so it ended in an emergency c-section and then three days recovery in the hospital didn't exactly go very well so um because just lack of sleep um, it wasn't down to Roisin, it was just down to the ward I was in and the lack of care really. Um, don't want to go into it because it upsets me and uh, I started to get panic attacks now about it. <laughs> so um, I have a little bit of anxiety about it now so I'm just trying to manage that. Um, good sides, Roisin's perfect, feeding really well. Um, took to breastfeeding very well we both did um, very bizarre feeling when your boobs are very full um, not don't really enjoy that part of the breastfeeding um, but the actual feeding itself is much easier with the, uh, the use of nipple shields I've only discovered them today um, she's beautiful she sleeps um, she only cries when her nappy's wet when she's hungry uh, we're at the moment just waking her every two to three hours because that's what we've been told to do. Um, so I'm just generally quite knackered. Um, quite amazed at the support that I've been given by all my friends and my family. Um, really good news for my partner. He was offered a huge, very well paid job today. So that was massive. Big relief. Um, got loads of flowers and clothes and balloons and um, my friends threw a surprise baby shower the Sunday before I went into labour which was perfect timing and without that we I wouldn't have all the things that we now have in order to be able to keep the, the child <laughs> like we've loads of things that we never would have been able to have gotten if you know what I mean um, That's pretty much all I really want to talk about now, but um, all is good. I am still quite shocked, still quite shell-shocked from it all. Quite um, quite a difficult um, a d delivery and experience and stuff, so I might be able to go into it later, but at the moment I'm kind of looking into seeking postnatal um, counselling and stuff like that to help me um, get my head around it and my partner has been absolutely amazing throughout all of it and he's been through enough himself as well and he's just um, amazing and we're much closer than we've ever been and um, it's all wonderful and beautiful and I'm finding it very hard to come across excited and delighted but um, I am um, Good luck with all you guys with your pregnancies and I'm, I'm following you guys on YouTube and um, 
hopefully I will be updating you soon with my little hints and tips like you guys all seem to do. So, um, yay, she's here. Um, Roisin May. Um, I don't think I'll be showing her on YouTube right now. Um, maybe later. Bye.